What's going on guys? Ken Raven here coming at you with another video today. So today I want to do another top five. I love my top fives. Y'all check out my top five, top ten playlist. Alright, so about a month ago, I did a video of my top five thumb stud knives in my collection. Well, I got to thinking, and sometimes this takes a little bit to get spinning, but I got to thinking, let's do a top five flipper knives in my collection. I'll explain the parameters when we flip over to the video. But before we get into today's video, let's do a quick wrist check. I'm wearing the Spinnaker Croft with a strap code bracelet. I call this my 50 footer because from 50 feet away, you might actually think I'm wearing a black bag. But, it's not. It costs way lot less. This is more King Raven money and everything. I can't afford Black Bay. But, from 50 feet away, Black Dial, Guild Tendencies, the Red Bezel, nice bracelet. You might think. You might not, but you might. Today's knives. Spyderco, Reinhold, Rhino, and CTX XHP. Love this little knife. And the Dame Designs Azul in 14C 28N. This is a small knife, but this knife makes this knife a little big. <laughs> so, uh, this is a little knife and everything, but I love these knives. Plus, it's got a little black and white thing going on and everything. I like it. Very nice, very nice knives. I recommend both of them. So, let's flip this camera around and get into today's top five flipper knives from my collection. Okay, guys, so like about a month ago, I did that top five thumb stud video uh, of the best thumb stud knives in my collection. Well, I got to looking, and I'm like, oh yeah, something like my Farron Forge Archbishop 3.0. Oh, that flips, so this would definitely be in the top five flipper, but I'm like, wait a second. Okay, I can also deploy it with the, the thumb hole. It's got a flipper and a thumb hole. So, I'm like, all right. I'll divide this video up. I will do another video with the top five knives with multiple deployment methods. Okay? So, if it's got a, th uh, a flipper and a thumb hole, or a flipper and a thumb stud, or a flipper and some blade stops that can be used as uh, thumb... Uh, studs, they won't qualify for this list. It's got to be flipper only, okay? Now, put aside the lock. If it's a button lock and you flip it out with the lock, or if it's an axis lock and you flip it out with the axis or sliding bar lock, whatever, you know, that's, that's the lock. That's not the deployment method. We're talking about the main deployment method just has to be a flipper, nothing else, okay? We'll do a top five with multiple deployment methods later on. So, as much as it pains me, my Farron Forge Archbishop 3.0 will not be in this top five. So, I'm going to go from number five up to number one of the flipper only knives in my collection. So let's kick this off with number five. The Civivi Cogent. This thing flips awesome. It's only a flipper, no thumb stud, no thumb hole, just a flipper, and it flips like boom. 
all the time. This is a great flipper, and it's also you know, what, in my collection and on this channel, would be considered a budget knife and everything. So, I love the Civivi Cogent. Great flipper. That is number five. Moving on. Number four. Number four is the Finch Knives Holiday. This thing, with its sort of like bolster style lock or, uh, uh you know, it's really a frame lock, but it's got a liner over the top, so however you want to uh, call it, I call it a bolster style lock. And I think this thing flips unbelievably. Boom. It is just a great flipping knife. That's why you get the little stickers with the finches uh, flipping the finch. Well, that's exactly what this means. And this holiday flips so nice. Love the finch knives holiday. That's number four. Number three. Number three is going to be the Damn Designs Basilisk. Okay. Listen. Boom. The Basilisk is a harpoon style blade. So it's got some extra meat out here at the tip. And then the bearings, with it also being in a liner lock configuration, this thing just fires like awesome. Boom. Okay. I mean, super nice action. I don't understand why more companies don't use liner locks because I love them. I know there's a lot of liner locks, but a lot of companies are stuck on frame locks. If you're going to do a frame lock, do something like this. Do a bolster. That way you don't, if it's going to be a flipper, that way you don't have to worry about where you put your fingers. On this one, you can put your fingers anywhere you want to. Hold it any way you want to. Grab that flipper tab. Boom. It just fires out the between the bearings and the weight of that blade. The Dam Designs Basilisk is an outstanding flipper. All right. We have made it to number two. Number two is the Fair Forge Mordax. Yes, my Archbishop couldn't be on here, but the Mordax is. And Protect does some outstanding action. Watch this. Clink. It's just... It drops shut. It flies open. It is outstanding. Besides being one of my all-time favorite knives, period, in my collection. And in my opinion, one of the all-time best knives ever made. Uh, the Mordax, I put it right up there and everything. If I did a top 10 of the best knives that I've ever handled from my collection, the Mordax is probably going to be on that list very easily. The Mordax is just outstanding and it's action. And that flipper, it's just, it could not have had a top five flipper only without including this knife. So, if the Mordax is that good, which it is, what knife beat the Mordax? Well, I'm going to say it's a twofer, but it's really not, okay? It's really the same knife. Okay, the off-grid knives scorpion. I have two different scorpions. I have the older one made by Wii. I have the newer one 
made by Best Tech. Now, the newer ones come in many, many different colorways. You can't get the older one from Wii anymore. They're all from the Best Tech. So, no matter what colorway, it's still the same. But the Wii or the Best Tech, the Off Grid Knife Scorpion, it is a frame lock, but it's shallow and thin enough frame right here. It's very easy to get your hands where you need it to be, and it just click. And then the one by Best Tech, thwack, okay? You can hear, I'm gonna shut up and not talk. You can hear the difference between the Wii and the Best Tech. I'm gonna bring it up towards the mic, okay? Listen, okay? One, this is more of a click, which is very, very satisfying. I love that little click. And then the one by Best Tech that you can get currently is more of a what? Hear the difference? So no matter if you have one of the older uh, versions made by Wii of the Scorpion, or one of the newer versions made by Best Tech of the Scorpion, the Off-Grid Knife Scorpion is the top flipper only in my collection. This knife just, it's, it's just unreal how, how well this thing flips. And for a long uh, skinny knife and everything like that. It's just, but it is very interesting to hear that you know there is different, and you can sort of feel a difference between this one made by Wii and how it opens, and this one made by Best Tech and how it opens. This definitely has got that light crisp resonate little click and then this one is a real solid um really locked boom plump and more flack okay so i don't know if you're hearing the difference on the uh, on the microphone but definitely if you put it in hand there is a difference between the two but no matter if you had either version of these, this is number one of the top five flippers. So, number one, Off Grid Knife Scorpion. Number two, Fair and Forge Mordax. Number three, The Damn Designs Basilis. Number four, The Finch Knives Holiday. And number five, the Civivi Cogent. So let's flip this camera around and wrap up today's top five video. I hope you enjoyed today's top five video. I love a good flipper. Now, a lot of flippers that I enjoy have multiple deployment methods. So I'm really looking forward to doing the top five multiple deployment method knives, that's gonna be hard because a lot, a lot of my knives have multiple deployment method. Namely, a flipper and a thumb stud or a flipper and a thumb hole. Some have more, but that's usually the uh, basis and that's gonna be a hard video to do. But, of this flipper only, I love these knives. These are great. I recommend any of them. Let me know your thoughts. First, do you like the top five and top ten videos? If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. I would love to uh, show you anything that you would like to see and everything. So I would love to hear your feedback. And if it's stuff that is like... <laughs> King Raven, we're over the top fives and top tens and stuff like that. Okay. I would love that feedback. So let me know. 
Uh, what would your top flippers be? Flippers only, okay? Uh, we'll get to what would your top multiple deployment methods be at, on that video. So, please let me know in the comments below. Check out my top five playlist. And I'll probably link a video as well as a little subscribe button. Just click on that subscribe button. You'll automatically be subscribed. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. And I appreciate you watching. Follow me on Instagram at Shield Arms. Y'all be safe out there. I'm King Raven. And I'll catch you in the next video.